Sweet Doc, so I gotta go right there, small town, right here. So I gotta loop the truck up, pull out into the street, and back it into that dock. Anyway, welcome to Crazy Drops. And that's, I guess, the, there's a location here for my dad's railroad right there, BNSF. But y'all can see I got it in the dock. Y'all can see back there. Y'all can see the trailer. All the way back there. Y'all see that? I got it in there. Yeah, it's crazy as hell. Y'all can see. Y'all can see the mirror. And I'm sitting in the street. The front of the cab is in the street. Alright, so this is where I put one of my calendars. And then I put my other calendar back. Let me see if I can turn the lights on, y'all. Back there on the fridge. So I got one in the room there and one here. One up here. Or one up here. So right on the... This is on the... You know, the visor. I just thought that was the best place. And I had to use uh, Velcro. So I used Velcro on the back. I used Velcro on the back to get it on there. Other one, I just stuck it on the refrigerator. Anyway, I'm in the inspection bay at my company. So, every time you come in, no matter, I was just here. They have to do a full inspection again. I like that. On both the truck and the trailer. That is a good sign. Uh, the other company I had do that was Conway. And I think that's a very good sign. They're basically trying to make sure you're DOT compliant. Anyway, peace. All right, people, I have installed the microwave. I picked up a microwave at Walmart, 0.7 cubic centimeters or whatever, for $49. I was looking at a $53 one, but then this Walmart had one for $49. I went with that. The TV, it swings. It used to be sitting like that, but I swung it over here, and that's an escape hatch plus a window. Um, because of how they have the inverter, they just had like a... I don't know if y'all can see that, that extension card. And they ran it to the inverter and they ran it kind of under the bunk. I don't know why they did it that way, but that's how they did it. This is the DVR, it used to be up there. And this was the cardboard from the um, box, a little cardboard sheet. I decided to put that underneath the microwave, that cardboard sheet right there. Um, it, it was in the box that the microwave came in. That way, sometimes you're pulling stuff out and it spills. I didn't want it to spill on the little rug carpeting fur, whatever they have on there. While I was doing this, so also I took Velcro. And it's kind of an industrial strength Velcro. And I put this as like a, you know, a little plug. What do you call it? A, you know, it's a plug. Um, surge protector plug. So I took that and then this is a carpeting microwave. So I ran these down. Uh, the cabling for that is there and I realized that and this is I told you I was gonna put some kind of cloth on here so I used a I had an extra towel that I use so I put the towel on here and then the DVR and then the refrigerator as y'all know it right here that's the refrigerator right there so um that should be everything I'll probably cut this into a video but this is some of the setup and I'm still working on stuff I just discovered this damn light right here I'm so happy about that I didn't even know that was there and uh, I just discovered it when I was putting that up. I'm like, oh, there's a light here. So I, I discovered that. Anyway, guys, it's getting there. It's getting there. I had to clean them wires up up there. The wires are getting cleaned up. I'm going to Velcro that onto the side, I think. I haven't figured it out, but it's going to be Velcro that surge protector. is going to be Velcro. I just haven't done it yet. So getting there. And then y'all see me. I got a little mess because I had to move stuff around again. It'll be all cleaned up. Y'all get another tour. Once everything is really set up, I'll give a good tour. Peace. What's up, Tube? Alright. So, I uh, got the microwave last night here at Walmart in, I don't know 
where the hell I'm at. I'm in Kansas somewhere. So, I got a little hole-in-the-wall Walmart. I thought it was going to be like $53 because when I saw my Walmart in Phoenix, the cheapest one they had was $53. But they had a smaller one for $49. Mainstay. They offered an extended warranty for $40. I didn't put that on there. It's $49. It comes with a manufacturer's year warranty. If it lasts for a year, that's your $49. Um, they took the run that they had like a, almost a 2300 mile run on me. They took that off and I delivered the load in Ada. On the way back, my driver man, well, let's back up. My driver manager, she's in and out a lot. I don't know what, her, she has a health issue, family issue. I don't know what the hell she got going on. I like her, but she's in and out a lot. So I just had yogurt and, um, not yogurt. Flavored cottage cheese, strawberry cottage cheese, and a, a little cup. Um, I forgot what the cup is. A little fruit cup. I need to get some more of those. Anyway, um, there's a few things I forgot to get at this Walmart, but I'm going to stop at a different Walmart because they didn't have... I like those new diet ginger colas, and they didn't have those, so I'm going to try a different Walmart. And there's some other stuff they didn't have, but I just a couple of things, nothing big. I'm also going to get me some popcorn. My best friend said that now that I have the microwave, I love kettle, that little, you know, when you do the kettle corn, I like that. So, and I forgot to look for that here. I was so tired last night when I got in here, because I got in here like 10.30 and parked. But they were going to give me a load going into Cali again. Instead, my drive manager kept trying to wake me up because my load that I had, had to deliver, it, I had it from 8 to 1. And I did laundry, so I was up kind of late. And then by the time I set my sleeper berth, I, you know, I wouldn't have gotten up until about 10 o'clock. Well, she's calling me before my sleeper berth on the Qualcomm. That's the other thing. I don't like people breaking my sleeper berth. Don't break my sleeper I won't break my sleeper berth. I don't like you break my sleeper berth. Um, I had to tell her, I was like, look. Uh, this load has a window from 8 to 1. I'm going to get it there on time. I said, I got this. I said, but you trying to call me three or four times during sleeper birth. I'm ignoring that call. I said, I'm going to sleep because I'm also on a CPAP. So I have to sleep a certain time on a CPAP uh, in order to be compliant. She's like, oh, well, there's a new plan. I'm like, a new plan. So apparently what happened, she wasn't in. She Remember, she left half a day early. Day and had I known, I would have not done laundry that night because I just had a small load. I had like one little load and I could have waited, but it was free, so I did it free. So, anyway, what they did is they have they bought some brand new reefers and they needed I guess they needed me to go get one of the brand new reefers. So, they gave me a, the load is going from Oklahoma City. I'm going to is that wind or is that just vibrating? Oh, it's just a little wind. It's okay. I'm, I'm right now. I'm, I'm Bob Tail. Um, they, they basically um, <clears throat> got me a small load from um, our load. It's a small load, about 600 mile run from Oklahoma City to. I'm going to. Is it Lincoln, Nebraska? Lincoln, Nebraska. To pick up a load. It's Link, no, Wayne, Nebraska, to pick up a load, and then I'm going to Lincoln, Nebraska, to, or excuse me, to pick up the Lincoln, Nebraska, or Wayne, Nebraska, to pick up the trailer, and then Lincoln, Nebraska, to load that same trailer and take that trailer to the to deliver, and then I take the brand new trailer to the yard. They gave me a photocopy of the license plate and some other legal paperwork that I have to tape to the trailer. Um, I stopped here at Walmart and I got one of those plastic, you know, those, what do you call them, the, uh, uh, you know, plastic protector sheets. I'm going to put it in there, zip tie it to the license plate holder. Because they just gave me paper and I'm like, who does that? They should have laminated it. I'm not even going to lie, but I, you know what, trucking companies do some ghetto stuff. So I'm going to come with my own method because they've had rain and water. I don't want to be driving down the street and then the dang, you know, thing comes off. I got Gorilla Tape. I'm not worried about that, but I'm going to zip tie it. I pretty much have a way I'm going to finagle it onto the plate and then head on through um, the thing. I don't know if I got a ticket through the, um, what do you call it, the uh, toll booth in Kansas. It said 10 miles an hour, and then I went through it took a picture of me. I'm like, I don't know why I took a picture, but anyway, I don't know. That just might be normal because nowadays, you know, they monitor and everything. Um... But I was going, I know I was going about 10, so I don't know. Who knows? Um, 
yeah so anyway I, right now I'm bobtailing all the way up here I'm going to pick this up I'm about 4 hours out I'm going to stop at Sap Brothers I'm going to pick up a pillow I love the bamboo pillow I picked one up before and I'm hoping they have them on sale again because I'm picking up another one of bad boys um, the bamboo pillow is the truth if y'all don't know about it oh my god they're comfortable as heck um, and they fluff up really good they're washable uh, they have an aloe in them so they help you sleep they're really really comfortable anyway so I'm picking up one of those and then uh, yeah I'm heading back to okay to Oklahoma deliver this load and then I take this new trailer to the yard so I'm loading a new trailer I'm picking up the brand new trailer this 2019 trailer getting it loaded in Lincoln I'm picking up in Wayne Nebraska at Great Dane getting it loaded in Lincoln Nebraska and then going to prior Oklahoma and then taking the trailer to our yard in OKC so I thought that was kind of cool. It's going to give me a lot of miles within a relatively short amount of time. Because I got 600 right out the box. I did almost just under 400 going to that little shipper. And then um, coming back is almost another 600 plus. Like, yeah, so it'll give me like a little bunch of little miles. And it'll knock it out and then uh, whatever they get me for the rest of the week. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to put this up. You'll see pictures of the microwave. Um, yeah. Oops.